then go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you never miss an upload from me and join the Rosette family because we would love to have you so as you can see today I'm going to show you dolls how to make a wig <laughs> so first let me just say this I'm gonna go ahead and play the clip on how I made the wig and like walk you through the steps of everything and then I'm going to come back and show you how to install it so make sure you watch that part. If you already um, know how to make a wig and you're just here for the installation, then let's get started. So without further ado, I do want to give a special shout out to her, her hair company for sponsoring this video. Thank you so much. So you're going to need a dome cap, some T-pins, curved needles, nylon thread, scissors, and some clips in your hair and this here is provided by her hair company so first thing you want to do is pin down your frontal and you can measure the rest of the cap with the rest of your head to see if it's going to fit your head so to attach the frontal you want to go under the cap through the frontal and then loop it through the needle this so you this way you can get a flat stitch and it's going to lay whatever you're sewing down super super flat so you want to continue this method all the way around your frontal and to tie it you just want to loop it loop your needle into the thread to get a knot so when you're starting off with your um, tracks in the back you want to go through the cap first through the actual um, bundles and then what you want to do is go in a downward motion and go through your um, thread that way and continue this motion until you go all across so I do want to let you dolls know that her hair company do have bundle deals I am going to install five bundles to this wig however they do have a three bundle deal for a hundred dollars and then a four bundle deal for two hundred dollars so whatever you like you know you can get it for a good price <laughs> so I do want to show you dolls how to do it the fold over so when you fold it over you want to go through the cap and under the fold and you want to go backwards you want to go backwards at least three times and then go back forward this way you can ensure that that fold is super flat on the head I know a lot of people have problems with that but that is the way to make sure that the bundle is flat so once you get to the crown area about right here you want to start laying single tracks across I came up with this method myself just so you don't get like any bulkiness on the top of your head so what I do is just take a single track so I make sure I go through the cap and then under the track just so I get a flat stitch so it's not too lumpy and bumpy so I just keep doing this and I cut my tracks as I go just so it lays super super flat so once you get close to the frontal you want to start going under through the um like that thick back part of the frontal and under the web just so it goes on top of that back piece so you can lay a piece of hair on top that way no one can see that you have a frontal or track in that area so some of the pros of this hair is that it is super thick the bundles are super thick the inches are true to inch and the lace was really really good to maneuver the only con I had about this hair is that it was a bit like it felt like kind of straw like when I first got it but once I set it in some conditioner and a little bit of olive oil it literally bounced back so just make sure you condition this hair really really good to get it at its natural state and it will be absolutely bomb so what you want to do now is cut off that extra cap where the frontal is so you just have frontal touching your skin you don't want the cap to still be under the frontal because it's going to look cray cray so now you want to take that extra piece and cut off the access so this is going to serve as your elastic band or you can just go get an elastic band but this is a cheaper way so what we're going to do is just take that elastic band and go through the frontal through the cap and then through the band that we created and we're going to use the same loop method with stitching this on so this is just going to ensure that that you get a nice flat fitted 
um, fit with your frontal so it should look like this when you're done so now we're gonna go ahead and bleach the knots so you need a 20 volume developer color corrector bleach and a bowl so you're gonna mix it all together and you want to add 10 drops of your color corrector this is gonna make sure that you don't have any brassiness in the um, coloring so what you want to do is make sure the mixture is like a cottage cheese and lay it flat on top and then you want to take a purple shampoo I use this one to cancel out any red tones and make sure you condition the hair now what you want to do is take some type of mousse I use this got to be mousse and I like to work in sections when plucking I work in four sections so I just put a little bit of mousse on the hair and then I take literally like a little centimeter of hair and I pull it forward and I twist the hair up and kind of pull it tight because it's going to help when you start plucking so when you start plucking you want to go in like straight motions you don't want to just pluck in a section because that's how you're going to start to get a hole so as you can see I'm plucking going backwards so that's what's going to create that like thinned out hairline and make it look super super natural so make sure you're plucking in a backwards motion so it should look like that then what what you want to do is take that rest of the piece and put it on top of that and then pluck that way because if you start out plucking directly on the hairline it can look really really thin and it could look awful so your best bet is just to do a little bit behind the actual hairline and then do a little bit in front of the hairline that way it all blends out together so as you can see it should look like this and you can kind of go by your hairline and you can pluck as much as you want to but this is literally the easiest way and you just want to rake your fingers through just to get all the excess hair out and you will be ready for installation Alrighty, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with the installation so you should be just finishing up with plucking your wig so this is the wig here all plucked up and ready to go so the first thing you want to do is tint the lace if you did it go through the steps of actually tinting it with like hot water and all of that like honestly doing the most okay so the easiest way to tint your lace if you don't want to go through all the like extra steps with um like putting the color in the hot water and the coffee and all the extra stuff you just want to use your face powder or foundation so i normally use um like a foundation and a powder because i feel like it's gonna last you a long long time but you can just use your powder if you want to so, so today i'm gonna go in with a little bit of my um born this way foundation in the color chestnut and you want to take a very very like stiff brush because you want to make sure it goes like in the little holes of the lace that way it will look like fantastic you want to focus most of the product like on the edge so where it's going to really be touching your skin because that is like the most important thing so you can use your hand as a anchor and as you can see i'm literally pressing the product in you can keep doing this until you satisfy it with the color you can put it on your um the back of your hand to just make sure that the color is a good color okay so once you get your foundation in there it should be like looking all orange so what you want to do is set that foundation now if you're just using powder you should be fine but if you are going to use a foundation to make it last longer please 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 make sure that you set it with a powder so now that we got the foundation on, we're gonna go ahead and fit it to our head. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. I already clipped it, so the easiest way to like put it on and install it is to like go ahead and clip it so it stays up. So now you just wanna make sure you're fitting it to your head. So I don't know if you dolls can tell, but look how good it looks. It literally looks like my scalp that is what you want so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it while it's on my head okay so now you want to measure where your um ear starts so if your ear starts below just so you can stretch it 
And you literally want to cut this piece off. Okay, so right now is where we're going to go ahead and get into the install. So to install it, I'm going to go in with my got to be my got to be gel. And this is the black kind. I like to use a black kind because it's like a little thinner than the other one. I think it's like a yellow one. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply. So now what you want to do is blow dry the glue for 30 seconds to get it a little tacky and then you want to push down the lace and then tie it up. So I'm going to go ahead and blow dry it for 30 seconds. So while you're blow drying it, kind of tap at it like you saw me doing it. That way you know when it's like tacky. So what I like to do is go ahead and secure the middle down first. So. And then I do the sides. That way the, the middle is secure. You can actually tug at the side. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and tie this around with a scarf for about 10 to 15 minutes and I will be right back. So this is going to ensure that it really sticks to your head and that's how you're going to get the most flat frontal installation. So I will be right back. Alright y'all, so I am back and I had my hair tied up for a minute. I was editing some videos, so I'm going to go ahead and untie it. Oh, so. so what I'm going to do is kind of trim right here because you don't want this piece, this sideburn piece to be too long. Alrighty, so now I want to take my favorite product to put in um, like wavy hair. This is the Bio Silk like oil and I'm just going to take a little bit of it and I'm going to put it on the frontal hairs because it's going to help them like lay down and like give it a little bit of shine and help slip down some of these flyaways. So I don't want like a, I don't want like a straight, straight part. Okay, so then I'm just going to take an old toothbrush and just a little bit of water. I'm not even going to add any gel. I'm just adding a little bit of water. So this is going to get like that cakiness out. If the gel like sunk through the lace and got onto the top. So I'm just dipping it in some water and laying down where I want that part to be. So remember not to add any extra gel, just use water because it's gonna work, trust me. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom you dolls in on how your frontal should look. So this is how it should look, like super natural where you can put your hair behind your ear. So I'm gonna go ahead and Stand up to show you how long the hair is. It is 28 inches, but I just wanted to show you a detailed customization of the frontal and let you know how it sits. And now I'm fin to show you how beautiful this hair is. This is probably the best like Brazilian body wave hair I ever got. It's so silky and so pretty. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So I'm only 5'3", y'all. So this is 28 inches. And it literally so it literally comes like <laughs> like past my butt it literally comes like to the crack of my butt so that is this video I hope you all enjoyed if you did give this video a big thumbs up make sure to check out her hair company links down below i will leave everything you need to know